All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Ooh. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to, to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Now into his mouth. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to haunt. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage on. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Kamaru Rusev. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Usman. Thought he's gonna attack the triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Pressure being applied here. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Hey, Sound strike on the ground. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Big powerful punch lands. Now we get back to range. And there comes the separation now. Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice little kickboxing exchange there from the welterweight champ, Kamar Usman. Usman's another one of those guys that came in as a wrestler, has turned into a great striker, which has led him to become the UFC champion. entry there and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight and they say if at first you don't succeed try try again was able to get him down there. persistence pain and that's what we saw with this young man over and over he shots for takedowns and tried to mix it up and he got suspended but eventually he got it done now what does he do with this top control Reversal here, DC. Oh, good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Well, a really good second round for him. Ooh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad.
movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Oh! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 47 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Assassin. DC, you know what it's like to get that first UFC belt and become a champion. That is his reality here tonight in New World Order here.